dating in 2020. How do dating relationships begin? A guy says you're hot, pretty much. That's step one, so <laughs> the guy will like add you on Snapchat and then you might like say you like each other, but you know, of course it's over text, it's not face to face. <laughs> then you guys might have a thing, <laughs> hooking up with each other <laughs> when you like each other. So you hook up before you are dating? Yes. People don't really like, Go on dates. It's kind of you just like hang out or like guys just use you. <laughs> it's, it's true. Right. Yeah. We couldn't communicate in person because we'd like built the relationship online. I had like the same experience yeah. only after about three months. He asked for nudes and when I said no, I don't send them, um, he dumped me. For many young people, uh, sexting could be considered the new first base. Kids call it nudes, we call it sexting. Yeah, no, everybody knows what it is. <laughs> Everyone knows sexting is a thing. My school uh, sending nudes is very common. It's mainly between people who aren't actually dating. Do you know of anyone who's been affected by that at all in your school? Affected by sexting? Yeah. Yeah, like I've had an incident or a bad thing happened to him. Well, yeah, like um, nudes of girls go around the school all the time. Really? Yeah. We are seeing more and more young people that expect to jump right into sexual acts without the relationship portion before that, without getting to know each other, without going on that first date, without holding hands, without having that first kiss. They're jumping straight to send me nude photos, send me a video of you masturbating. And that's happening younger and younger. But then eighth grade, there was like two different groups and it was like the group of people that like did like send nudes or like did all these things. And then the group of girls that like didn't do it. And there was like just a very distinct, and it was eighth grade and that's when it- And that's and when I, divided the groups was like, Honestly, yeah. And like now, like group, my group, brother's yeah. in middle school and like, I, I sometimes hear him and then like a bunch of kids I babysit in middle school, like it's happening younger and younger. And like, like what age is that? Like, I mean, like sixth and seventh grade, like. With sexting, while the studies typically focus on the ages of, of 12 and older, I've been in schools, elementary schools, where sexting has already occurred with 10 and 11 year olds. We have a lot of teachers and counselors come in, like trying to discourage us from doing that type of thing. But obviously people don't listen. Like if you have a teacher or just someone like telling you constantly not to do it, it makes you more just want to do it and like to try it out. Is that amount of communication needed before a boy feels comfortable asking somebody by text for a nude? You're pretty much lucky if you get about two weeks into talking to them before yeah. they ask. Or, or even, like, sometimes they won't even let just like talk to you. Like they just demand it. Yeah. Or send their own mm -hmm. without yeah. us asking. Yeah. What about guys? Do they send nudes? Yeah, they're uh, disgusting. Yeah. Who wants to see that? Like, when you wake I up, I wish they would. No, one time I was with a friend, <laughs> and we were we were having a sleepover. Woke up. And good morning. It was eight a.m. I was like, I don't need to see this. They're more unsolicited. Like most of my friends have gotten them, and I feel like for girls, for the most part, get disgusted by it. What do you think, percentage-wise, of girls have received them? High percentage. Probably <laughs> yeah. more than half. Yeah. yeah, more than half. Do a lot of people you guys know send nudes? Middle school. <laughs> that, was like, that was a huge thing. Oh yeah, you guys had like huge problems. Scandals. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they're like these rings on us that like got caught and the police would get involved. In middle school, that's like the peak of like, which is totally messed up. It's just so casual. But then when a girl does it, it's totally different and looked down upon kind of. Some girls I know like, they just like won't say no because they're like scared of like the repercussions because they don't want to be yelled at or called a prude or like and you're constantly judged like that's so true like they're they're either like oh well she's a slut and will do anything or like oh she won't do anything with yeah. guys and there's really like no in between it's a no win situation if you give it to a boy and then you're a slut then the girls find out about it then you're cyber bullied by the girls if you don't give it then some girls will even jump on the bandwagon. You know, I gave it to so-and-so, what's the problem, why won't you do it? What do you do in that situation? Because you you know you can't win. I don't think people think it's a positive for doing that type of thing, but it definitely gives you a lot of clout, like 
you have a lot of attention on you, like good or bad. And so people definitely like want clout. They like do like almost anything just for people to like pay attention to them. If the good girl sends Johnny something that she normally wouldn't, everyone's gonna be like, Let's get more! And then all the guys will go after her too. Oh yeah, then she's got like 20 new ads on Snapchat, three new DMs. But behind closed doors, people are like, she is a whore. And people act cool around her, but like behind closed doors, people hate her. Let's say your, your daughter was dating a football player. She breaks up with him. She hasn't had sex with him, but he says, you need to give me a little something, something, some pictures, and then I'll stay in the relationship. So she does it, she gets pressured and she does it. And they break up. Well, I talk to kids all the time. What happens when you break up with those pictures? Let me take it a step further. What happens when you break up with your boyfriend and his new girlfriend goes in his phone and finds your pictures? It gets distributed. Especially with Snapchat, which was, you know, kind of more or less created for that exact purpose. It gives people a sense of like, oh, it's not that serious. The pictures go away, but we all can realize now and look back and say, well, no, that's definitely not true. Yeah, once something is out on the internet, social media will latch onto it, people will download it. So it's like a Dropbox, and it was like, I guess some guy that went to our school um, made it, and it's like just girls' nudes, just like, and just random like people. All the guys and everyone had access to that. And they, everyone you could, could yeah, exactly. And there was like a list of like all the people that had accessed it, and like it was even like people that you wouldn't think really like <laughs> good guys that you wouldn't think would like engage in that kind of stuff. But some girls had no idea that their pictures were like out in the open for everyone. All of these naked pictures and videos guys get from girls they went to high school with. They're in their college dorm. They go on A9IB and they trade them like Ugio cards. I mean, this girl that I grew up with. She had a sex tape actually, and it was leaked. I remember even I, who didn't even go there, had access to it, but it was sent around, and we were freshmen. One of my most hated terms is not my kid. Parents suffer from a disease called the NMK syndrome. It's described as not my kid. My kid won't do that. My kid would never. My kid's friends aren't like that. My kid's school isn't like that. You're wrong. Everybody's community is like that. Every school is like that. Every kid has the potential to do any one of the things that we're talking about here. No, even my own kid. 